Mike Lee, Cutter, Ottawa Outlaws. Perfect. Okay, now we're getting into good stuff. So, Mike, I'm uh, curious to know how you first uh, discovered Ultimate Frisbee and got involved. Well, actually, uh, it was about six years ago, and a roommate of, uh, at the time, we were in St. John, New Brunswick, and basically he wanted something to do on a Tuesday night, and he wanted someone to do it with. So he basically asked me if I wanted to join him for a league. I said, I'm not doing anything otherwise, so why not? And so we did the uh, kind of recreational thing for about a summer. And then when I moved back to Fredericton, there was a competitive team there, Spawn. Uh, and they're a mixed team, which is a mix of males and females. And basically they uh, kind of scooped me up and, and the rest is history, I guess. Talk a little bit about the sports that you played growing up and how, how did those uh, help you or hurt you as, a, as an ultimate player? Uh, the main sport that I played was basketball as a kid. I played all the way up until high school, and then uh, after that I kind of got into frisbee. Um, but there are a lot of kind of linkages between, similarities between basketball and ultimate frisbee. Um, there's the pivoting and kind of the movements, the court awareness or the field awareness of knowing where the ball is and where your defender is and kind of the strategies in that. So um, I think that's helped me a lot in, in my ultimate frisbee game. And I do notice that a lot of the best players in Frisbee do come from a basketball kind of background. Uh, there's a couple on our team, some of the best players like Derek and Carl and Leon, they're all basketball players. So, uh, yeah, I think it's done well to kind of prepare me for the sport. And it helps to have that uh, the height advantage as well. Yeah, exactly. Well, I don't really have the height advantage. But <laughs> <laughs> for some them, of the guys do, yeah. Um, now talk a little bit about what it's like playing professional ultimate and uh, um, what are some of the perks of being a, a pro player? Yeah, well, I think the biggest thing is things like this. You don't really get this in the amateur leagues and the club scene. Um, you don't have the fans, you don't, and I think that's, I think the most exciting thing is playing in a stadium like TD Place and a bunch uh, in front of however many fans we get, but I think that's the most exciting thing where you hear the cheers and the crowd. And even if you're not at a home game, when we go to Montreal, they have a big crowd there and just hearing the crowd is, is huge. And uh, swag. <laughs> <laughs> Can't forget about the swag. <laughs> um, now, maybe just talk a little bit about uh, last season. For, for, uh, for the for what, what, what was it like being an expansion team, um, going seven and seven, and maybe transition that into what you think you guys are, are set to do in 2016, uh, better or worse. Sure. Yeah, so last year was our inaugural year. Um, there is a bit of a difference between the pro leagues and the club scenes. The rules are a little bit different. The field size is a little different. Uh, and a lot of the, the players that were on the team last year hadn't really played with each other. Um, so there was a lot of getting to know each other, uh, getting to know the game and the different strategies, the minute kind of differences. Um, but I think that we have a season under our belt. Uh, we kind of have that all behind us and we can kind of hit the ground running a little bit more. And hopefully we can improve on that 500 record that we had last year. And maybe we can get a couple of those wins and then maybe get a, into the playoffs. Yeah, that's perfect. We get in the playoffs, all bets are off, right? Exactly. It's a new yeah. season. Exactly. Um, now, talk about the Ottawa uh, ultimate fan base and, and the community. Um, how does Ottawa stack up, do you think, comparatively to some of the other cities that you guys play in? Right. Um, I think Ottawa has a great Ottawa scene. I mean, for the longest time, I'm not sure about now, but for the longest time, it had the largest league in the country. And I think that has done well to kind of make a base for Ultimate fans and Ultimate players. And I think that a reason why Ultimate is such, has a great fan base here. Um, I know it's, it's a little hard because with the Montreal scene, you have basically one team in Quebec, whereas Ontario, we're split between Toronto and, on, and Ottawa. Uh, but I still think that because uh, of our, our fan base that we would still get great crowds. We get a lot better crowds than we do in a lot of teams that we play down in the States. 
and I think that's a lot to do with Jim and the, the job that he's done to do promotion and this kind of thing that we're doing right now to get the word out. Right. Yeah. Um, now, uh, now, if you were talking to somebody that's new to the game, you know, new to not just pro ultimate but the sport in general, uh, what would you tell them? Uh, is, is so great about the the Outlaws experience and why do they need to go see a game this summer? Right. Uh, well, the thing about Ultimate, it's so exciting. Um, if you haven't experienced it before, it's not really like anything you've seen before. There's a lot of running and flying through the air and jumping and you don't really get that in like a soccer game where people are basically grounded. Uh, you get a lot of big catches and a lot of big throws and it's really exciting for someone who's never seen this kind of thing before. And just being able to see someone like, if you've never seen someone throw 80 yards and you don't know that's even possible, the, the first time you see it you're like, well that's pretty impressive that somebody can do that, somebody right. can even throw it that far or anything that far <laughs> really. It's kind of cool to see. Uh, so I think that's why it's so accessible. Um, and even as a sport, it's very accessible. You don't need a lot of gear to kind of do it. Basically, all you need is frisbee and a friend. Right. And I think that makes it really accessible as a sport to play as well as to kind of watch. Now, good, good, uh, good answer. Okay, so we're going to do a, a, a rapid fire, Mike. Uh, we'll start with, do you, do you pull left or pull right? Pull right. Okay, do you wear gloves or no gloves? Definitely gloves. Okay. What's your favorite venue outside of Ottawa to play in? Well, it's got to be where I, my home base, Fredericton, New Brunswick, because that's where I started, basically. Pasta or pizza? Pizza. Hip-hop or country? Uh, hip-hop, yeah. Rock and roll or jazz? Rock and roll. Uh, Stones or Beatles? Oof. That's a hard one. Uh, Beatles. That, yeah, Beatles. Okay, yeah. favorite Beatles song? Ooh, A Day in the Life. Okay, okay. Blondes or brunettes? <laughs> brunettes. <laughs> Married or single? Married. Um, I had to throw that one. <laughs> As a GM, right? Are you uh, are you a trash talker on the field or no? No, I'm not at all. I'm I kind of keep to myself. Yeah. <laughs> are you a motivational kind of rah rah guy in the in the locker room, or you let your uh, your your play speak for itself? I'm someone who probably lets this play speak for themselves. There's other louder people on the team that let them do their job. Do you have extra swag when you're on the field, or is it just kind of the base uniform? Nope, base uniform, I think. Yeah. Okay. Right. Gloves. Yeah. Taylor Swift or Justin Bieber? Bieber. <laughs> you answered that way too quick. <laughs> um, he's making some good music. These he's days. got some good stuff yeah, out right now. I know, I know. If you asked me like five year, years ago, I probably wouldn't want the Taylor Swift. But. It's got some good stuff on now. Uh, BMW or Audi? BMW. Okay. Who's the, the worst person to sit next to on the bus on a long road trip after a game? <laughs> well, last year it was Alex Bush, because even though we laid down the rules that you don't use the bathroom for number two, <laughs> he just couldn't hold it in. And I guess everyone had to kind of pay for that one. <laughs> good answer, good answer. <laughs> Listen, I want to wish you the best of luck this season and right, uh, we look forward to seeing you play. All right, great. We'll see you out there.